Taurus, welcome. It's your heart spread read for mid-November 2021. This reads the one that's on your mind or one that's in your heart. Eight cards, roughly shape of a heart. I think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and I'm astrologer too, so I will uh, sometimes throw out uh, signs of, if I see it in the zodiac. Particularly, mostly I do that in the singles read, though. Uh, this reads who's on your mind. That one's when you're completely single. Uh, maybe you have a friend who's single, hit them up, let them know about the Meet the Soulmate read. Um, also, check out, if you would, the Soul Family Daily Collective read for whoever resonates. I think Terrence McKenna, find the others uh, and see if that uh, it, you might resonate with that. It's a little more personal read about, uh, you know, uh, spirituality, less about relationships. And right now, let's pick them up on the one that's in your heart, Lover's Card. So, uh, this reads where you're at in and around relationships, where your mind is at, where your heart is at. And uh, Taurus, you maybe, I don't think you have to put Gemini into the equation with the lovers. Um, it's just this energy where love is on your mind. Um, you're definitely not someone that's wanting to be single and bragging about that. Um, you'd be someone who might have a seventh house son. Uh, someone has energy of, you know, I do want love in my life, you know. Try to separate that as a baseline, kind of where you're at in general. But fantastic energy for this read because to me that this is where you're at, that's a great place to be in in terms of love and relationship. And you don't have to add anything to it, but it's codependent or but it's needy or but it's just there you're open to love towards at this point. Um, so two of pentacles. Now this is where your person's at in and around relationships and I said I wasn't codependent <laughs> so this person could be an earth person you know Taurus uh, another Taurus uh, Virgo uh, Capricorn person or Sun Moon Rising and Venus think prominent somehow I think they would mix well with you um, now I said this now this two of Pentacles someone's busy living their own life doing their own thing I don't really see this so much as uh, being about choices other than a lot of times when you're in this energy um, it can be uh, hard to do something, bring a relationship into your life because you've, now you've got your life balanced and maybe it's, it's not so easy to do, you know, you have to really focus and it's really doing it. Um, and then so now you throw in a, a curveball here, especially to an earth sign, <laughs> fixed earth doesn't really like change. Could be a little bit of that uh, energy here. Uh, we'll see how they receive you. This next card, now I read, how are you reacting to them? the chariot card so the lovers and then the chariot and this is how you're feeling about them um, you're very fired up about them I think what I just said I'm trying to describe this energy of them they you are kind of in this energy of I want love that's cool they're really not they're kind of just not even really thinking about love or anything they're just doing their thing living their life and you're really attracted to them like they're the one this is my soulmate because this lovers too can come with all the soulmate stuff too now add chariot to it well and that's definitely how you feel and you know um, that could be a feeling like this love is in alignment with my core values and that they could be the one you know uh, when when you have that feeling like you don't have any conflict there's no red flags and you're just kind of all go and it's to me, it always comes with this energy of an inner spiritual feeling that of being in, going in the right direction. And this is towards your person, so very positive uh, for you. And the Six of Wands. Wow. It's very interesting. I'm going to clarify this. Note the laurels, and it's very sexual energy, in my opinion. Um, it's you're coming at them very deeply um, and if there was any doubt here Taurus that you turned them on holy shit I mean to go from the two of pentacles to the six of, uh, of wands um, the only thing that concerns me a little bit with it it's kind of small energy I often compare the six of wands to the chariot so the Six of Wands, you're getting accolades from the people 
or you won something, won the war. So here, it's like we're getting accolades and we're having a parade, but this is like our higher self and our spirit guides and angels. They're the ones applauding us as we go by in review on our chariot here. Um, I gotta say, uh, if you believe in twin flames, I'm kind of on the edge of myself about that. I think it, if it exists at all, it's extraordinarily uh, rare. I, I see the energy of the twin flame experience right now. I'm feeling it. And you would most definitely, uh, with the chariot and the lovers, be the activator. And your person would very much be the sleeper. And it's like you, uh, let's suspend judgment for a minute. I would draw that, uh, you know, um, clarification on the six of wands it's coming to me so it's like you've awakened them think about two pentacles it can kind of be like comfort zone and you know and when something comes along and it feels right and it's sexy and it's exciting i think you kind of woke up their sexual side first guys and that's not bad um let's let's see what we got death as an overall energy for the reading um death card so um, Scorpio showing up, your opposite, transformation. Um, it, it, to me, this is another reading that's Twin Flame because Twin Flame journey ain't easy. It ain't for sissies. So, you know, I wouldn't, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> I got me a life partner, guys. <laughs> but uh, that may be what you have here. Let's see what your advice is towards your person. That's just, that's just so heavy. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've got three major arcana representing you. Now, this is how you're acting towards them, and this is your advice from spirit here, judgment. Um, and trying to give you advice, your own angels and guides, about this person in terms of this relationship. And I got to tell you, I think it's like this where free will comes in. It's like... <coughs> excuse me it's like um it's kind of like asking you is this really enough is this really the one because i do now see when i take in to account the lovers here and just read these three cards i mean you might have been manifesting you know it's a manifestor channel i hope uh soul family read what that's about um, but you're being called up here uh, and towards them it's like maybe it's like I think of Catholicism not Catholic but they call marriage a vocation it's like are you ready to make this your vocation there's an element here too of like the, your path maybe you've got a north node in the seventh house and literally your soul's path and maybe other things and it is a balanced, uh, harmonious uh, relationship um, with a lover, you know. But that's what that's asking you, to consider it really at the deepest level. And I'm really not surprised to see the Nine of Cups here. I was kind of almost expecting the Nine of Pentacles. Um, but emotionally, what Spirit's telling you if you're cross-watching? I really wish you could share this. That'd be wonderful, too, energy, if you felt like you could share it with your person. But um, it's really telling them to emotionally um, uh, don't lose yourself. Get yourself together. Um, you know, don't let this uh, amazing sex and the new relationship kind of uh, you know, blow your mind and make you lose your game. It doesn't have to be. You, need to, you bring it into balance. But you're going to bring it into balance, this person, your other person here. Um, again, it might be another earth sign. Um, by emotionally being fulfilled, self-fulfilled, you know, focusing on that. And it leaves a question for me. Let's see what the advice is for, for spirit for relationship as a whole. Jeez, I kind of told you there's a choice to make here. Jupiter's involved. Um, lost track of her a minute. He's, uh, he's at about 23. Um... Aquarius now, but getting up direct. Um, 
with the wheel of fortune it's um something's gonna come in that's gonna uh inspire both of you somehow like it's like if if, if you were in a position of sort of like uh in locked in sort of a strange emotional combat where you sort of were feeling each other out and not really being able to fully bond um, I think that's what's going on here it's like something's going to happen this usually goes in your favor so that's going to benefit the relationship um, that might serve to bring you together this is a crazy analogy but it's it's like the energy of accidentally getting locked together in an elevator for 24 hours or, or um, you know comes to mind um, the exercise of simply just sitting and looking at each other's eyes and don't don't blink, just look in each other's eyes, give it two minutes, that's all, two minutes, and um, that kind of energy, something's going to come along that's going to kind of throw you guys together here, but your person just needs to be emotionally stable, there seems to be a lot of focus on that, um, in order for this to work, in the favor of the relationship and um, you literally have to make this decision, this judgment, it's like, okay, it's literally a judgment. Um, is this enough? And this may be like, read this too, could be a sign from the universe come, something very obvious. Like you were literally going, I really don't know um, what, what I think about it and boom, it comes to you in the page of pentacles as an outcome. Wow. So you end up out of this uh, with an outcome of the Page of Pentacles, and I don't mind it. Um, I feel like there's a that's very sincere. It's it definitely a new beginning. Uh, it's someone that really values what they have. And, you know, the page is sort of facing you, Taurus, and I feel like this is maybe part of uh, what needs to happen with your person is they... They really don't quite understand what they have. And I'm not just saying this because it's your reader it will blow smoke up your ass. They really don't have the chops, spiritual chops to appreciate kind of what's happening here, what you have. I mean, but if you look at this as you're the activator, then um, you could say it's your job now um, to help them to understand, you know, this. And that's why I say with, you know, Twin flame relationships, are, I don't know, I don't think they're supposed to be easy or necessarily fun. You could say if it exists, it's a fast track to spiritual growth because you're going to get there. But what this implies to me is that you guys make a sincere and solid start, like from a blank page, a new start. You have uh, one brick and you go, you both say, let's do this, let's build this. And um, it's, it's this Jupiter and wheel of the fortune here um, maybe it's also something that takes away Jupiter sometimes will clear the plate and before you you know anything good can come which is usually in terms of an opportunity but here it may be something that brings you together by having something taken away just to let you know but you're going to end up in a great place from it with this uh, page of pinnacles guys so thank you give me a like thumbs up do appreciate it. If you make a comment, that helps the channel. Feel free to subscribe. Thank you, guys.